Hey, what's up you guys? It's Elijah here and today I'd like to show you guys this color mixing algorithm I have. Uh, I call it ColorFi. So I made this algorithm a little while back. Um, it was for a site called Talage I was making and basically I wanted to have a voting system but not like a heart or a thumbs up or thumbs down. I, it was a motion based system. So each emotion was linked to a color and what I wanted to do is I wanted to have all the emotion colors be mixed and made into a unique color for that post, depending on how people feel. So if you felt like if three people felt mad and one person felt happy, then, you know, if mad was red and happy was um, uh, like blue, then it would mix those colors and it would output like a purplish color. So that's what this does here. So. Um, just to show you in like real life what this does. So, so here's the actual file running and here are all the emotions we have. We have six emotions that are programmed in and these are the colors that all those emotions stand for. So right now I already have pre-programmed in some uh, like a, uh, emotions that have been quote unquote voted for. So if I click on color mix, it will set the background based on the mix of the emotions. Um, so it's this purplish color right here so how all this works is so we have a function called color colorfy and it takes um, six emotions you can change this to more or less if you want and it doesn't have to be emotion based you can base it off something else if you wanted to but um, first we get the total of um, all the votes for each emotion there were so if there were five votes for happy and one for sad and the rest were zero then this total would be uh, six so this next part right here is taking our colors and uh, multi multiplying it based off of uh, how many votes it got. So the um, so it's an array, and the array has the RGB value. So here's the red, here's the um, the green, I believe is next. Yeah, green and then blue. Whoops. So all you're doing is you're putting the values right here and then you're multiplying each value against how many votes that emotion got um, and then you're making uh, you're putting into you're resetting basically the happy variable with that array that you have set up so down here um, this is where all the math happens so basically right here it takes everything that was in that first array spot so that would be the red value so this spot this spot uh, this spot, this spot, this spot, and so on. Um, it adds all of those guys together. And then it also adds one at the very end here. This is just for um, errors, um, error checking, uh, because I believe if you have them all at zero, it will error out when it does the division. Um, so it will add all these guys up first. Then uh, it will take the total and then we'll add the total to 0 0.01 and I believe I did this um, so I would make it into a float value um, don't quote me there I I wrote this code a while ago so I can't remember exactly why um, but then it does the division and it divides uh, everything up and then it rounds it to give you your average red color that all of these guys had and it does that the same thing for the green value and the blue value it just gets the you know next parts of the array and then it outputs the average of the green and blue then uh, then it then you can return yourself the value of the color so right now i'm putting it in the background and so right here is here's the algorithm and i can change these values to whatever i want i can have this like 10 and 50 and 5 and uh, 21 and we'll just have a 1 3 so you can mix these colors however you want so we'll go ahead and go back here refresh and color mix and bam I got a different color here so there's the color mixing algorithm there will be a link in the description to the github if you want to download these files and um, if, and mess with them you're you know free to use it if you want um, just link them to my github you know put uh credit where credit's due um and yeah if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns or uh want to see me hack or make anything else 
just let me know below and I'll try my best to get back to you and let you guys know. Alright, see you guys.